There, Big Ace. Check out my new ride. Oh! And these little guys are what I'm here for. In one of my videos, I explained on how to increase uh, survival rates in piglets. The number one issue with piglets is is crushings. Um, there really is not any industrial solution for it. But my for personal solution is what I'm going to show you again is building a little hut with a heat lamp on it. What that does a help a ton is separating the piglets away from the mom during sleeping. You know, because the piglets are little hot potatoes. Whenever you know, when you're they're small, you touch them. You know, they're so hot. You know, but. Uh, so that's the first thing is it separates the piglets from her mom, right? Because otherwise they try to go to her mom for warmth. But second, also most importantly, is it saves them a ton of energy. If you think about it, all that energy that they're losing in terms of heat, they have to eat, right? They have to take from her mom. They have to, you know, eat. So instead of, you know, wasting a pig feed and also, you know, they, they have a limit on how much they can eat, uh, you could have said helps us help them conserve energy by simply putting up a heat lamp so they don't have to, you know, spend as much in generating heat. So I'll show you how I build my hut super quick, super easy. And she's such a good mom. I love this one so much. She, she's doing a really great job so far. I'm going to be reusing this thing. Again, I showed this in a previous video, so pretty much I need to move this all the way somewhere over there. If you also saw, I brought my chainsaw with me. Um, I helped these pigs out with clearing the land. Uh, if you notice, all the brush, like a couple feet tall, has been cleared out and they, you know, they have eaten the tops. Um, so what I do is I cut the, uh, all the all the little trees that I don't want, all the little bushes and stuff that I don't want. I cut it from the bottom, they eat the top of the leaves. They really love it. Uh, but also, most importantly, is that cuts the, the roots from growing. And whenever the gr roots grew, grow new shoots, uh, the pigs will keep eating that over and over, and the roots will stop trying to grow. So that's a, so that's that's pretty much uh, how you clear land. You know, how I cleaned all my land over there was first, um, you know, had them clear it out like this, so I could walk through, start cutting all the bushes, and... And what I do is uh, I grab all the bushes and I keep them away from the electric fence. Otherwise, they'll, you know, uh, push it against the electric fence. Um, and yeah, I mean, they love it. They love eating that, you know, moss stuff. I just fed them today, so they're, um, you know, they're not too hungry. But, you know, also another thing I do is I only cut a little portion of time. I'll, like, pretty much cut this much, you know, and then whenever I see it there, you know, they... they stop eating it or whenever I see it's being dried up um, then I cut another section and that's the great thing about this little golf cart so I can keep my chainsaw around at all times and you know when I go feed them when I see them I can you know cut off a little section another section another section um, as you see they're already eating right now they love that moss so much I looked it up there's no uh, nutritional value in it but I don't know they like to eat it so yeah um, I'm gonna be really happy with this golf cart it's gonna help two poles one string that's all they need um one thing is uh, as you saw i put this extra wire uh whenever you do a connection like this with these poly ropes always add this wire otherwise you'll just have arcing and it'll just damage the wire um because uh, the how, how this works is as you see there's a little stain there's a little stainless wire that's weaved through this um and there's not like a good you know physical connection between one one of these uh lines to another then it'll just arc um so i use this and then you know with my pliers i'll actually crimp on it and try to make like a solid connection uh next step is to uh dig four holes and make the posts i'll turn on an electric fence so they can uh leave the wire alone the hell are you two do here doing i don't know how they doing but she screamed at him so 
I guess they're playing on who, uh, they're fighting on who gets to play with the water first. And he's, he's blocking her. Leave her alone, cookies. So what I did before was I used a couple of these uh, tree stumps um, and I, I put a little 2x4 on the ground. Uh, my original goal with the, with the new one over there is to also do the same thing pretty much. Uh, get my, find my, get a post hole, you know, dig a hole, put a 2x4 because otherwise what happens is the heat lamp, it, uh, it kind of softens the plastic and just collapses. Um, found this pretty interesting also. Um, you know, this was, this was protected from the pigs and it allowed to grow out a little. It grew, grew like a little bush. Um, but yeah, so what I think I'm instead do is just, uh, cut some two by fours and actually build out a frame in here and that way if i need to move this around later it'll, it'll be easier got it all assembled put it in the wood posts on the corners all this land left is to put in the lamp and put in some hay do you like it cookies your kids are gonna be so happy right hooked up the light gave them some hay and all that's left is for the piglets to come not sure where they are i'm gonna feed them and hopefully uh you know they they play around this area, but yeah, um, this is this is it. I mean, it's it's very simple, but this will save your piglets a ton in you know fatality rates. Here's the piggies. They were uh, sleeping here in the sun. I'm trying to move them towards the housey, so they go get some warmth. Move piggies, move. It's a, a freezing 45 degrees here in Florida. Uh, I'm freezing my ass off, uh, but you know, my dogs are having fun. Are you guys having a great time? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And for today, I got them uh, corn, uh, green beans, and pig fat. So they're going to have a nice meal. Snajorko always likes to go to here to sniff what I got right before he uh, goes to eat. And if that's not enough, I give them a skip of kibble. Tazar, Nizrok. I got that little hut. Uh, that thing has broken down on the uh, rebuild. I'm planning to move them to a new area. That's why I haven't fixed it yet. They got a little jacuzzi. Uh, this is typically for the summertime whenever they need to cool off. They like to just uh, take a dip in it and a little ramp for them. I also put these tires before when I had puppies. They loved digging underneath there, but uh, I had to see even as adults.